Welcome once again to Meeting Jesus at the Table. Our chapter this week, chapter seven, is A Meal of Memories. The story of Jesus in the upper room is one of the most important stories of our tradition. And for many of you, I'll bet you have particular memories that uh, gather for you around the celebration of the Lord's Supper on Monday, Thursday, or at some time during Holy Week. But you also have the experience of your own dining room tables or restaurant tables or picnic tables being times when you've shared memories. During the pandemic, a lot of people who lived in families discovered that they ate more together as a family than they had in many, many years. And I'll bet they discovered some of what I grew up with as a child, which is the table being a time when you shared stories. In many families and communities, there are stories that get told and retold over and over again. Oh, let's tell about the time when something very funny happened or something very poignant happened that shaped your family, shaped who you are. Sometimes people get to where they can tell the story that their parents told and it's passed on almost exactly. That's precisely what happened with this story of Jesus being with his disciples and taking bread, giving thanks or blessing God, breaking the bread and giving it to his friends to share amongst themselves. Those four actions are first recorded, actually, in Paul's letter to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 11. That's the first time that piece of tradition is written down. And then it is told in the Gospels, in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, in relation to the upper room story. But those same four actions, words, and gestures appear in the story of the feeding of the multitude. To take the bread, bless God, break the bread, and share it. Clearly those actions were not unique to the upper room, but part of Jesus' tradition with his company of friends and disciples. So the memory that is there for us on Maundy Thursday is much deeper than one night. It's part of his whole life. But the upper room story is also a Passover story in the Synoptic Gospels. And this lesson explores the ways in which Matthew in particular tells this story in ways that are deeply reminiscent of the Passover meal and the Passover story. One of the most intriguing notes of the way Matthew tells the story is how it ends. It ends with the phrase, and when they had sung the hymn, they went out. This refers to the collection of Psalms called the Great Hallel that are still the conclusion of a Passover Seder, or Passover meal. Psalm 118 is the last of those. And it points not to death, but to life. It points, in fact, not backwards, but forwards. This session invites us to consider what memories are most shaping for us and what it means to live a life shaped by the memory of the one who gives bread and says, this is my very self given for you.